Welcome back to uh, the last bit of the story and the last bit of our messy church today. We have all of the things that we have collected to tell our story and we'll go through them in a bit to see if you um, worked out how they fit with the story. When we left the story last, we ended on a very sad note. Jesus had died and he was buried in a cave in a tomb and a stone was rolled over the entrance of the cave. But if that was the end of the story, then it would be a really sad story. But that's not how the story finished. God had other plans. So a dreadful day became a happy day. It was early, very early. The birds were still in bed and the sun had yet to open its bright eye on the world. The sky was grey and grainy, the air was cold, and three women walked slowly towards the graveyard. Jesus was buried there, and the women were coming to visit the grave. They talked in sad whispers, they cried, they held each other's hands. Jesus had been dead for three days, and they missed him very much. Just as they reached the graveyard, Somehow, however, some surprising things happened. The ground began to shake, the air began to tremble, and with quick as lightning, an angel flashed down from heaven and rolled the stone away from Jesus' tomb. Everything went quiet. The ground stopped moving, but the women shook with fear. Don't be afraid, said the angel. Come and see. The tomb is empty. Jesus is alive. Arm in arm, the women crept past the angel and into the tomb. The sheets were there. The sheets they'd wrapped the body of Jesus. But Jesus himself was gone. Where is he? asked the women. What have you done with him? I told you, smiled the angel. He's not dead anymore. He's come back to life and he wants you to tell all his friends. The women looked at each other. They didn't know whether to laugh or cry. They could hardly believe it. That is, until they hurried out of the tomb and straight into Jesus. Oh, Jesus, they cried. It's true. You really are alive. And they fell at his feet, amazed. There's no need to be afraid anymore, he said. God has made everything all right, but I have a job for you. I want you to tell all the rest of my friends that I'm alive. Tell them I will meet them on the seashore in Galilee where all our adventures started. The women waved goodbye and hurried off to Jerusalem. The birds were singing now. The sun's bright eye was wide open and they had the most amazing story to tell. last bit of the story is what makes Easter so important. That Jesus, although it was very sad, died on the cross. Three days later, he came back to life. And now anyone who wants to can be friends with Jesus, can be part of God's new community. Let me show you what I mean. In the beginning, God made the world and it was perfect. And God made people and their relationship with God was perfect. There was nothing that got in between people and God. But after a while, people started to disobey God. They made choices that put themselves before God and sin entered the world. But God had a plan. 
to bring back the relationship he had with people and make it better again. And so God sent his only son, Jesus, to be the light of the world. To show people how they could live with God again. But not everybody liked what Jesus had to say. And so one day, people came and took Jesus and they killed him. And they buried him in a cave. And his life ended. But Jesus took on the things that we'd done wrong. So we could be free and live again in harmony with God. I hope you've enjoyed your time at the virtual Messy Church. It's been very different to how we normally do Messy Church, but I hope you've learned something new about the Easter story and that you've enjoyed all the activities that you've been able to do. It's a strange story and can be quite sad, but it's also wonderful. And because of what Jesus did, Christians believe that they, we can have a new life that we can have a friendship with God that goes on past this life, that we can have eternal life with God. I hope you have a fantastic Easter, even if it's in a different kind of way. And I hope you stay, stay safe until we meet again.